Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to use Windows 8 on your Android device using Microsoft's new remote desktop app. Okay, so first up, you need to have Windows 8 Pro uh, to do this, not just Windows 8. You can check to see if you have Windows 8 Pro by swiping in from off side of the screen or putting your cursor in the bottom right corner, then tapping search, typing PC info clicking on the first PC info you see there and looking under Windows, whether it says Windows 8 Pro, Windows 8.1 Pro, etc. If you have anything with Pro in it, then you can continue with this. If you don't, you can always upgrade to Pro. Uh, it's a $99 upgrade. Uh, you can see the link here that will take you to Microsoft's website so you can purchase that. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is you have to make sure that the computer stays on all the time. So to do that, we're going to again, put our mouse in the corner, go to search, type in power options. Help if you spelled options correctly, there you go. And then click on that first icon there. And then whatever power plan you're using, most people will be stuck on balance. You're gonna hit change plan settings. And then for plugged in, you're gonna change, put the computer to sleep to say never. And this will guarantee that whenever the computer is plugged in, it won't ever turn the computer into sleep mode and we'll always be able to connect to it. The other aspect of this though, of course, is the computer also always needs to be able to be connected to the internet. But once you're done with that, hit save changes. Then we're gonna get our IP address of our computer so we can connect to it. So you're gonna pull in from the side or use your mouse and go to search again. And so we're gonna type in CMD and hit enter to get our command prompt. Then we're gonna type IP config, all one word and hit enter. And you'll see in here an IPv4 address under wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. That right there is the IP address you want to write down. Now don't write down mine because that's not gonna allow you to connect. You need to write down your own that you found in your command prompt when doing this. Finally, we need the app. So open the Play Store and you're gonna search for remote desktop. And you want the one from Microsoft. That's the one we're gonna use. Uh, hit install. Once it installs, we're going to open it. Tap the plus sign down here in the bottom left to set up a new PC to connect to. And connection name, you're just gonna put in whatever you want. Sure. Um, doesn't matter what it is, it's just for you to identify which computer you're trying to connect to. And then in host name or IP, you're gonna put the IP. So 192. Dot, and again, it's whatever your computer told you its IP was. Gateway, you don't need to configure unless you know what that is, then you'll know you need to do it. Um, username and password under credentials is going to be the Microsoft account that you use to sign into the computer with. Uh, so usually it's an email and then whatever your password is. So put all of that in and then hit the checkbox up here at the top right. And once that's all set up, all you have to do is tap on the device uh, and then say you wanna trust the certificate either once or always. And wait for it to load up. Um, cool thing about this also is that things work like pulling in from the side if you don't have stupid keys in the way. Uh, and you can get to the charms menu. Pulling in from this side, brings you to the previous app. And I do believe double, yeah, pinching and stuff like that works as well. So it's actually pretty good. Obviously you can see it's a little slow and not the greatest performance, but it does allow to use your Windows PC from home on the go in a pretty decent way. Thank <laughs> you.